Hi, welcome to this episode of Stress Reduction TV. I'm your host, Stephanie D'Angelo, here to help teach you some skills in reducing stress in real time at home. So last time we talked a lot about anchors and bringing our attention to the feet and into the body. The body is a processor for all the information that's coming from the external world and from the internal world. And so we're taking time to navigate, to inquire about what's happening now, what's happening in the mind, what's happening in the body. And whatever's happening in the external world is affecting all of that. So for us right now in this very stressful time, we are approaching this with um, what kind of skills do we have to inquire about what's going on in the body, what's going on in the mind, what's happening in the nervous system. Every time something happens, a thought, an idea, a news feed, a kid having a hard time, anything that happens in our external world or our internal world, our nervous system is activated. The sympathetic nervous system kicks on, stress hormones start to be released, and that cortisol goes up, and guess what? It really stays on until we actually kind of manually shut it off. So the sympathetic nervous system is embedded in us uh, biologically, we're organisms that are designed to survive. So whenever our nervous system detects some kind of threat in the environment, whether it's a real threat like the coronavirus or whether it's an imagined threat like I didn't meet my deadline or uh, my product rollouts tomorrow or whatever it is, our nervous system is going to have a reaction. And this sympathetic nervous system turns on and guess what? It doesn't shut off until we make it shut off by taking a breath or a walk or a cookie or a glass of wine or ice cream or whatever it is, whatever is your uh, mechanism for relaxation. So here we are, we're building skills and trying to find ways that really work that help us to have some long-term health and well-being benefits by using these skills by practicing these skills, cultivating them. So last time uh, we used the anchor of the body and the, the feet, the breath, the body. And this time I just wanted to introduce another type of anchor, which is sound. And this is a, a singing bowl. And I'm just gonna show you what it does right here so you don't get alarmed. And we can use the sound as an anchor as well. When we practice, just playing it really feels very good. And if you remember, I was sitting outside uh, the other day and we could hear the birds and the owls and the cars passing by and the dogs barking. And those are also sounds that can be used as an anchor. Anything that's happening right now, we can use that because life is the practice. We don't have to be like monks on mountains. We can be in our own lives. We can be in our homes, in our offices, in our cars, in the grocery store. We can be anywhere. And we can use the sounds to help anchor us into the moment because that is what's happening now. And that now moment takes us out of our mind, out of the news feed in our mind that never stops because thoughts just move like clouds. They go on and on. They're like Pez. When you take a Pez, there's another one that comes up. When you let a thought go, there's another one that comes up. So if we can practice this allowing that to be as it is because it is and we're just accepting the way things are the way the mind moves and we can practice moving our attention to where we'd like it to be maybe somewhere a little more uh, calm or a processor like this body we can move our attention back to the body in this particular practice what we'll do is we'll use sound 
and we'll move and keep, you'll see how, how this magical little bowl can keep our attention maybe even a little easier than if we were drawing our attention to the feet or to the body. So when I'm really, when my mind is really busy, I'll take something like this little singing bowl and I will just play it. And you, there's lots of apps online that you can just listen to singing bowls. You can get it on YouTube, uh, iTunes. Um, so here, let's just gather ourselves here for this practice, this really nice, quiet uh, body mind. And first we'll notice, how do you feel? How's the body feel? And we're going to ask ourselves that question and inquire. This is the inquire into the body, the inquiry into the mind, the heart, the emotions. What's happening right now? Almost like you're taking a little um, checklist, a little case study, a little inventory. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the neck and shoulders are a little tight. The, you know, whatever it is for you. There's no wrong. The more we inquire, the more we expand our field of awareness. And then we can notice if changes occur when we practice. And that becomes our own reward. The brain then says, oh yeah, if I actually play that singing bowl or listen to that uh, sound of my breath, it shifts how I'm going to feel. And that's not a, a promise. It's a it's an actual observation. So you're gonna observe and see what happens and maybe nothing's gonna happen. And that's, that's okay too, because this is your practice. So let's gather here, gathering, sinking the mind and the body, the heart, the emotions, sink it all up, but begin at the beginning. And if the mind and the body is what you have access to, then go there. Feel the weight of the body in the chair, the feet on the floor, and notice what's happening with the breath. You can keep your eyes open or closed. Sometimes this is a little jarring at first if people are uh, new to listening to the sound, and we're just gonna listen to the sound. And find the breath. And let the breath slide down the back, each exhalation like a waterfall. Don't forget to breathe. And if your mind starts to wander, listen to the sound. In the breath and the body 
and listen as the bell, the symbol fades. just sitting quiet for the next few moments, enjoying the stillness, and you can continue your practice, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below or email me at stress reduction step. Until next time, be well.